what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for dummies video. And today we're going to be talking about five star tight end in the class of 2024, Landon Thomas. Now Landon is 6'4", 235 pounds. He's from Moultrie, Georgia. He attends Colquitt County High School. He's in the class of 2024. He's the number 28 recruit nationally, the number one tight end, and the number six recruit coming out of the state of Georgia. Currently, Landon is committed to play football at Florida State. Given his stature, he has good hands, fluid movement patterns, and the ability to sprint after catches. He could be an X-Factor at tight end. Quickly established himself as a freshman at Colquitt County, a dominant team in South Georgia. He continued to grow, catching 31 passes for 533 yards and 7 touchdowns as a sophomore, and then hauling in 44 passes for 753 yards and 8 scores as a junior. He can shake defenders by switching gears and lowering his hips, making him a somewhat cunning route runner. Has plenty of experience working out of the slot, but throughout the years has gotten has also gotten his hands dirty and played an increasing amount of typical inline roles. He is still learning how to balance blocking and pass catching responsibilities, but isn't hesitant to get his hands dirty and attempt to push defensive ends aside. Size hasn't been measured in a while, but if he wants to realize his full potential once he enrolls in college, he'll probably need to add some mass to both the upper and lower parts of his body. Considering his credentials ought to be regarded as one of the best tight end pass catchers in the 2024 cycle likely to prosper in an offensive scheme that aims to mix up personnel before the snap. He has NFL upside. According to Colquitt County High School coach Sean Calhoun, Landon Thomas has everything you want from an in-the-box tight end prospect. Landon, goodness, his skill set overall is good when you talk about an in-the-box player. Calhoun told Atlanta Journal-Constitution, whether it's pass blocking or run blocking, he's really good at that. Then when we flex him out, he can be a matchup problem because he's so big and strong. There are plays where he gets into the open field and he's so hard to tackle because he's so much bigger than the defensive backs. He brings an element that I've never had as a tight end. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching another recruiting news for dummies video. Let me know your thoughts on Landon down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerts on every new video that I drop. And I'm out. Peace.